St. Agatha is one of the great virgin martyrs of the Roman Church who in the midst of the Roman paganism chose to be faithful to Christ uh, no matter what the cost. She was a beautiful young woman who was sought after by many uh, of the wealthy suitors of her time and uh, she had been given the inspiration by God to remain consecrated to him in virginity and so she refused all the offerings of marriage until one of the men who had a uh, significant power in the empire decided that he would threaten her for her Christianity. He knew she was a Christian he wanted to marry her and so he used his power and the threat of, uh, of persecution to dissuade her from her purpose and to ultimately extort from her her consent to, to marry. And she refused, of course, and was for a time sent to a brothel where she was tormented and uh, maintained her virginity and then brought back before him and she still refused to marry him and then he put her in prison and had her tortured and finally uh, when he saw that there was no way to dissuade, dissuade her from her consecration to Christ he finally had her killed and of course to think about uh, what she did is to reflect upon the power of God's grace because she declined not just uh, to reject her faith or even to maintain her purity but she refused a legitimate marriage because she was consecrated to Christ that was her desire that was her inspiration and she died for that consecration and we should take saints like Agatha and uh, the other Roman virgin martyrs and saints like uh, Saint Maria Goretti as not only our examples but our patrons for these times of impurity when we are surrounded by compromise where we are inundated uh, with, with images and live in a culture which is is, is in some ways worse than the culture in which she lived. She lived in a time in which the enlightenment of Christ had, had not come to fruition. Christendom did not yet exist. You know, the world was still missionary uh, territory. We live in what some might describe, and I don't know if it's you know, altogether accurate, but in a post-Christian world in which the, the truth has been rejected and overrun and replaced by neo-paganism. So it's like the world returned, as St. Francis would say, like a dog to its vomit. And uh, rejecting the truth and returning to falsehood and preferring falsehood to the truth, and, uh, refusing or uh, preferring impurity to, to holiness and, and to chastity. The saints, like St. Saint Alphonsus Liguori says, that most of the people who lose their souls and go to hell go to hell uh, if not because of uh, impurity at least with sins of impurity and chastity, true chastity of thought, word uh, and deed is, is wholly supernatural it cannot be um, acquired by merely natural means it is the fruit of grace, the fruit of prayer sacramental life and of, of humility we see that Agatha put our Lord first she, was, she had true love she loved her spouse and she loved him so much and had such recourse to him and clung to him with such intensity that she was able to endure uh, 
the most horrendous kind of, of trials. And the reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, the first letter, uh, underscores you know, this humility of St. Agnes and of those who, who choose purity over impurity where he talks about how uh, those who were chosen by Christ to follow him uh, were not chosen because they were mightle, mighty or, or, or noble, you know, that because they were well-born or because they were wise. Uh, but rather, St. Paul uh, underscores the fact that God chooses the foolish things of this world to confound the wise and the weak to confound the strong. Uh, he chooses those who are cont contemptible in the eyes of the world to raise them up so that those who see them will recognize the power of God. It's like in the Old Testament when God you know, took away the soldiers from, from Gideon or so often showed the Israelites that they could accomplish nothing save through his power. And very often, as in the example of Gideon, where he removed all the soldiers, he didn't want Israel to exalt in its own power, but to recognize that it was through the power of God that they conquered. In the end, only the humble uh, will be pure. And, and therefore, what we're confronting in our impure world is a horrendous kind of pride, uh, you know, uh, so often things are inverted. Uh, impurity is, is arrogance. Impurity is, is pride. I impurity is the refusal to acknowledge the, 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 uh, the Lordship of Christ and to submit ourselves to his grace and to recognize that without him uh, we can do nothing. So we turn to the saints like St. Agatha today and most of all to the Queen of Virgins, our Blessed Mother, who uh, they alone can teach us how, how to truly be pure and to maintain our purity uh, no matter what the cost. We have to beg for that grace every day so that we can persevere in the life of grace and, and be instruments of God's grace uh, for others. Purity is supernatural. It's a manifestation of the power of God. May we manifest that power through our lives and through the grace of God in our hearts.